Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and here we're going to talk about some torture damaged heroes. I have one other romance rec video, by the way, with this trope. I'll leave it down below. But these are heroes that are damaged in some way where they don't want to find love. They don't want to fall in love. They don't think they deserve love. But certain people come into their life that show them otherwise. So let's get into these 10 recommendations. I feel like a very popular one is Twisted Love by Anna Huang. This one's about Ava and Alex. And Alex is Ava's brother's best friend. And his best friend basically asks him, while I'm out of town, I need you to watch my baby sister for me. She's not actually a baby, she's in college. Um, and he decides to rent the house next door to her and keep an eye on her. Ava's adamant on figuring out what makes Alex tick. He's this very broody, stoic, does not show his emotions kind of guy. And she's like, what can I do to make him show any sort of emotion? So that's kind of like her job for, for the time being is like, I want to figure out what makes Alex tick. And so she's going to go to great lengths to try and get some type of emotion out of him. And then when they spend more time together, they end up falling in love with each other. Um, and there's also this secret keeping stuff in here. Both of them are like keeping secrets and stuff like that. So I really enjoy this one. I think it's a great start to this series. Hooked by Emily McIntyre definitely has a damaged hero um, hook, okay? This is a darker read. Our heroine is the daughter to Peter Pan. Her name's Wendy, which is the daughter to Peter Pan. Um, and Peter Pan is the enemy to Hook. Peter Pan has done some horrible things to Hook and his family. When Hook meets Wendy at a bar, he at first thinks she's like this stunning woman, wants to get to know her more. Um, then he realizes that that is Peter Pan's daughter. And he believes that Wendy is there to seduce him, spy on him. And so he kidnaps her and basically tries to torture her to figure out like, what were you gonna, what were you gonna tell your dad? She does not know what's going on. She does not know what kind of world her father lives in. She is clueless to all of that, um, but Hook does not know that. So this is definitely a darker read, but Hook definitely goes through a lot of dark things himself that make him who he is. And Pan was a part of doing that. Painted Scars by Neva Altaj is the first book in her Perfectly Imperfect series. I feel like all the men in this series could fit into this category. So if you wanna read a whole series, read this Mafia Roommate series about these damaged heroes, especially book number three. Ooh, that man has gone through a lot in his life. Um, but this one in here is about Roman. He is a mafia boss and he was in a car accident a few months ago where now he is not able to walk. He Right now he's in a wheelchair, but he's hoping through physical therapy he can get to a point where he can walk with a cane because doctors have said that he could do that. So he's dedicated a lot of time to physical therapy and whatnot um, because he does want to get to that point. Then his guys, his people in this mafia are like, okay, um, you need to look scarier, I guess, or um, not look weak to other mafia men because there are going to be people out like trying to get your position because they think you're weak now because you're a mobility aid user, which is number one messed up, right? And he's like, okay, no, I am strong as ever. Okay, so maybe if I get married, that'll show them like I am here to stay um, with me and my wife. He finds this guy who owes him a debt and he has a young daughter who is very attractive um, and she has her own skills herself that could benefit him. She basically blackmails the dad to give him his daughter. And so he gets married to Nina in here and they don't obviously like each other at first because of the whole blackmailing situation. Um, but Roman has gone through a lot in his life being a mafia boss, but also the pain he's recently experienced. So he's definitely a tortured hero. Fractured Sky by Katherine Cowles is the last book in her Tattered and Torn series, but I feel like it's like one of the best ones. This is about Ramsey and Shiloh. So Shiloh, you got to read about her in the other books in the series. When she was a young child, she was um, kidnapped by this man, but then she ended up escaping, getting out of there. Um, so she's never really been the same ever since. And also her family kind of walks around her, like doesn't treat her the way that she wants to be treated. She's like, I'm not a child. I've gone through this horrible thing, but like, I am still me. And the only place she really like feels at home is on Ramsey's ranch. So she just will sit on the edge of his his property and watch him take care of horses. He rehabilitates abused horses. Um, and Ramsey has gone through quite a lot. He was falsely convicted of something and was in jail for a while and experienced some awful things in there. So that's where the damaged hero part comes in here. But these characters have gone through so much individually and then they come together 
um, when they realize like they can help each other through what they're going through and they end up falling in love with each other. So I love this one. This one's beautiful. And I just, I love the ranch setting as well. The Coldest Winter by Brittany Cherry. I can't really talk about this book all that much because I don't want to spoil it, but our hero ends up meeting the heroine at a party and they have this one amazing night together. It's so hot. It's so good. Um, but then she shows up to be um, the student teacher um, at the high school for her college class. Like you have to be a student teacher at one point. And um, there the guy is sitting in, in, this, in, the, in the classroom in high school. And she's like, I thought he was in college. Like what? The hero, his name is Milo. Um, he was held back, I think a year or two. Um, so he's older than everyone else in his class. Um, and he's gone through a lot recently. His mother passed away. He does not have a great relationship with his father like at all. Um, and there's also something he's going through personally. He's going through a disability diagnosis through this book as well. Um, so he's got a lot on his plate. So this is their forbidden romance because she is his student teacher. The Butterfly Project by Emma Scott is my next one. I feel like both of these characters are damaged and tortured in some way and have gone through so much. Um, and I'm only being, gonna be really highlighting on Beckett in here. So Zelda though is our heroine. She ends up moving to New York City. Beckett lives there. Um, she ends up running into Beckett when she's having an awful day. Her place got broken into and like all of her art supplies were taken. She's in New York to try and get her graphic novel like published somewhere. Um, that's like her dream. Beckett ends up letting it slip like, oh, he might have to sell some of his things that he like loves because he is short on rent. And so she's like, I know this is crazy, but what if I move in with you and like I can cover the rest of rent. Um, like I just need a place to work and a place to sleep. Like I will not bother you. Um, so the two of them have to share this shoebox size of an apartment together in New York City. Um, so it's forced proximity, definitely. Beckett in here is an ex-con. He was charged with armed robbery two years ago because he was in with the wrong crowd. So now he's trying to like fix the mistakes he made in life and trying to be a better man. Um, so he's gone through quite a lot already in his life. Um, but I love both these characters. I love their journey and both things that they experience together. A Ruby Dixon one that I have to mention is um, Debbie's Distraction. This is one of the books in Ruby's Ice Home series that I absolutely love. I think this is my favorite in that series. Nadek is our hero in here and he is our alien man. Um, it takes place on this planet, not Hoth, which is where all the Ice Planet books like take place in, right? Debbie is a human woman who crashed with a bunch of other humans on this planet. Anyway, so she is a scientist. She was a scientist on Earth. She loves studying animals. And I specifically think like ocean life. And so she's seeing all these like alien ocean creatures and is so fascinated by them. She like will literally like, dissect them and other women on the beach. She th thinks that she's like crazy or something because they're like, she's dissecting sea creatures, like what? Um, but Nadek is kind of fascinated by her. He is this broody, grumpy guy. He doesn't really want to get to know anybody, anything, like just wants to be by himself and sulk. He lost his leg a few years ago. So he's an amputee and he thinks because of this, like he just is gonna suffer for the rest of his life. Like there's no point in living. But Debbie comes up to him and tells him like, I think I can build you a prosthetic leg. Like, I think I can help you. They kind of help each other with both the things they're currently working on and they end up falling for each other. It's actually so sweet. I love, I love both these characters. I love how Nadek absolutely softens for Devi because you have like, I think Crystal calls them alpha mellows, but they're like absolutely alpha guy, except for their women. He's an absolute marshmallow softy. I want to mention two books in the same series. So the first two books in the Click Canyon series by Victoria Aveline. Um, I have to mention these. Um, so this is Choosing Theo and Freeing Luca. Um, these are the first two books, like I said before. These are the special editions of the Fate of Mate book box, by the way. They like make special editions of monster and alien romance books. These are about human women who crash land on this planet, okay? Um, if you want more of like a starter series to alien romances, I definitely recommend these because our heroes look very similar to humans. Like very similar physical features. They kind of look the same. They might have like different skin colors. Like I think book number three, he's like green. But anyway, so choosing Theo, he experienced quite a lot of trauma in his past. His whole family ended up passing away in like a fire and he is now severely burned from the fire. Um, and he gets in this like marriage of convenience relationship with Jade, one of the human women who crashed on this planet. Um, but he like, thinks she has ulterior motives for being with him when that is not the case. Jade thinks he is fine. So love this one. It also has plus size representation. And then freeing Luca, both characters have been kidnapped by evil people on this planet. And Luca is chained up, basically going feral in this underground, like bad alien bunker place where he's being tortured. And he ends up sending his mate to the heroine of this story because these evil aliens 
took her and he goes absolutely crazy because he can scent his mate and he's chained up and she's in trouble. Yeah, that's just the beginning of this one though. There's like more going on in here, but I loved both of these books um, and I feel like this series has a few like torture damaged heroes that find, find their forever person, their fated mate. And the last one that I have is Love in the Afternoon by Lisa Kleypas. This is a historical romance. It's actually the last book in the Hathaway series. Beatrix is our heroine and she I think is the youngest Hathaway sibling. She's known for collecting all of the animals and everything. Like she collects um, pets and animals who are injured and then nurses them back to health essentially. Kind of like um, Penelope from um, the Wallflower series by Tessa Dare. Kind of reminds me of her. But Beatrix has this friend named Prudence and um, Prudence has been writing to a boy they knew when they were younger who's now like a grown man. He went off to war. They were writing letters to each other. Prudence is kind of like, eh, I'm kind of sick of him. I don't really want to write to him anymore. I'm not really interested. And Beatrix knows like he's probably going through a lot off at war. I'll just continue the letters. I don't want it to make him feel alone. They end up falling for each other through these letters. But um, the hero does not know that that is not Prudence that he's been writing to. It's been Beatrix, who he actually remembers from childhood, actually like despised her, like he did not like her. Um, so when he comes back from war and finds Prudence again, he quickly realizes this is not the woman that I have been writing letters to and I need to find her. The hero in this book has gone through a lot at war, experiences a lot of now PTSD. Um, so he's going through that definitely um and Beatrix helps him through that anyways there you have it to their 10 romances with tortured or damaged heroes let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me any animal emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching and we'll see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all